Affinity Publisher Mastering Master Pages. This is based on one of the samples in the welcome window of Affinity Publisher. When you pull up Affinity Publisher, go to Help, select Welcome, and you'll see the um, you'll see the samples there. And you can't download them. You can't do anything with them except look at them. So I spent a, quite a bit of time doing this. And I can assure you when you come to do it, it will take you quite a bit of time. But when you're finished, you will be the Jedi Master of Mastering Master Pages. Just leave it on your computer. Leave it run. Come back to it from time to time during the day. It's not a short exercise. It's a long exercise. <laughs> now, I don't want to turn you off because it's well worth it. Enjoy the video. Page one. Page two. Page one is set up on Master A. Apply Master. Let's go to Master B. And we shall apply the master B. And there's master B. Go to that page. Apply master. Apply products B. And there's products B. Products A. Master A, Master B, sorry, Master B, and Products B. Apply a Master. Welcome A, B, C. Let's go to the circles on. We'll miss C and D. They're fairly common. Master E. Okay. There it is. Nice circles. Apply master A, B, C products, 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 E and A. There we go. So there's master E and products E. And of course, export those. Ignore and continue. There's a bit of text overrun. That's all right. You can see there's too much text in that frame down there. Never mind. We'll ignore that. Digital high quality preview export when complete. All spreads. Let's just export it. And we'll put in downloads. Good a place as any. Replace the one that's there. Export item. And up it comes. There's the front page, front and back page of the brochure. There's the inside covers of the brochure. And that's how it pops up in, in your document. Let's see if we can reduce that a little bit. There we go. Okay, continue on. Enjoy. Let's have a look at Affinity Publisher and Mastering Master Pages. Setting up a multiple master page brochure using Affinity Publisher and we're going to be doing two pages with preset and template. Now some notes on the master page names in this exercise. The outside cover masters are named Welcome and given A to F positions. So there are six positions or six master pages for Welcome if you like. Six possible covers. The inside covers, the masters are named product and given matching A to F portions as each is related to the equivalent welcome master. In all, there are six brochure options, but of course each welcome master page may be used in any combination with a, any product page. Now you can name master pages anything you like. That's easy to remember but it makes sense to keep them in order if you've got more than one. So let's begin. Open Publisher and begin a new document. 
and you'll see it comes up with those options there along the top. My presets, print, press ready, etc. Now what we're going to do is select my presets. I think that comes up by default from memory. And yours won't have that there yet. That's what we're going to do. So just leave that sit and the first thing you do is enter the layout settings as you see them here. Take your time. There's a lot of options there and they're all quite important. The size, the page width is 210 millimeters, 300 dpi millimeters. You don't want me to read them all out. Work your way through them and put them all in. Probably a good idea to pause the video here while you do that, because obviously you can't write them all down. When you've done that, you click on the plus sign to create a new preset. That's the plus sign there. A preset titled Untitled. And I've spelt that wrong. Untitled, Untitled will appear in the grey pane. You've got that there. Right click on the preset that's there in the My Presets pane and it will invite you to rename it or delete it. So rename it in this case, unless you've made some mistakes over here, in which case you delete it. Now, click on the preset to ensure it's the right one. Its name will appear up here and then click on Create to create a new document. If you're still inputting the entries, that's fine. Just pause your video here while you do that. Now, setting up the document after making the preset. You've clicked on Create and you've got the default up and it comes up with that and a master page. We'll create the master pages required here. There are six possible double front pages and six possible double inside pages. I say double because that's one page and that's another page. Now these of course are still more notes. The layers for pages are created as you create the image and text placeholder frames. You may well know that already. Layers for back and front pages. Left side on the screen is back and right side on the screen as you face it is the front. Pictures and text frames are named for ease of substitution. In other words, you don't want to be looking for different um, layer names every time you open a new frame. Name them consistently. Setting up the image and text placeholders, you have correctly named placeholders, and accurate positioning of placeholders. This is where on the bottom of that layers page you position your placeholders accurately. Don't try and drag them around and position them and say mm, that looks pretty good. Position them exactly by using your X and Y. So you'll notice that's minus 3 there. So it means it's outside the frame slightly. You'll see why that's so later on but you've got width and height and the X and Y position. Very important that you get those right. And there's lots of them in this exercise. Many, many, many of them. So, setting up the welcome master page. Add six welcome pages in this case. One, two, three, four, five, six. Rename them to welcome A through welcome F. Welcome A through welcome F. And the next part, when we move on from here, will take ages and ages and ages. We're going to begin by creating five layers for each master. Now, don't put those in here now. You put them in as we go. That's just to show you. But if you haven't yet created your six master pages, do so now. I might add that there are also six product pages. So there's a total of 12 master pages. And you'll see that in a moment. Create them now. Just pause the video. I'll wait. So, now we're going to put in the placeholders, the text and the picture frames. This is welcome A. This is master, the first master welcome A. 
and its welcome A-frames are here. Just to give you a look at what they are, there's two text and three pictures. There's the layout. Text 1, text 2, picture 1, picture 2 and picture 3. Place the image frames and text frames and name them. You name them text 1, text 2, picture 1, picture 2 and picture 3. No confusion there. Then position them carefully as shown in the transform panels. And you can see those there. This is what will take you a good deal of time. Now that text 1 there you can see is over here. Text 2 is over here. Picture 1, 2 and 3 is picture 1, picture 2 and picture 3. So you can see those frames there. This will appear on each of the next whole series of pages and you will just have to put them in and carefully tune them in with those transform numbers. Just get them exactly in the right position, X and Y, and exactly the right width and height. Pause each, pause the video as you come to each one so you can get them right. Painstaking. This will possibly take you days, I give you fair warning. Welcome B. This is almost the same, except there's a couple of small differences which I'll look at here. Now Welcome B, text 1 and 2, but picture 3 comes first, picture 1 comes next, and picture 2 is third. See? Up here, two, one, three, one and two, sorry. Now there's a black and white adjustment layer here. And I'll show you that next up. Pause the video, get all your positions correct. Now welcome be continued. Position the adjustment layer above all picture layers to force black and white on images. So that's select the adjustment layer, uh, select the adjustment studio, click on black and white adjustment and it will put that layer into your layer panel. Move it wherever it positions it. If you have that highlighted it will put it just above there. Move your adjustment layer to there. That way that adjustment layer affects the three images below it for this master. Those, and it will affect those images there. Okay. Carefully, carefully, carefully. Now welcome C. Frames. The layout. You can see the layout there. Text frames. Picture frames. Place them and name them and put them in position. Pause the video. Do welcome C. Next, welcome D. Welcome D. Pause the videos. Do welcome D. Welcome E. Pause the video. Put your frames and text frames in. Now you can see there's one here that's just called frame text. It's not got a name because it doesn't necessarily repeat in the same place. You'll see, you can, you can give it a name, you could call it text 3 if you like. I chose to leave that one blank because as you may have noticed by now, it doesn't appear in all of the masters. And you've got two circle placeholders here. They're pictures but they're done as circles. That You'll find that in your um, left hand side toolbar. So you've got two, you've actually got three texts and three pictures. Pause your video, make sure you've got all of those details there exactly right. Very important. Make sure those circles are exact circles. You don't want that looking out of place. And the final welcome one is welcome F. Again, you've only got the five um, layers. 
and you'll, you can already tell by now that the picture placeholders and the text placeholders are in slightly different places. You'll need to adjust them via those frames there. Pause the video, get them right. Now setting up the product master pages, phew, you've done the welcomes, now the six product pages, in this case A through F. Again rename them A through F. This part will take ages and ages, you can see it'll take ages, there's lots more of them. In fact there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine products. Now these products could be books, records, CDs, whatever you have. They could be tractor parts, for all I know. But you've got nine of them. The layers for printed inside pages, as with the Welcome Master, they're created as you create the images and text placeholder frames, left and right, front and back. And there's some of the ones I've already got on mine. They're various images for various books. I was using... Printed my some of the books I have um, available now. Product A, product frames. There's the layout, pictures, and text, and text there. That's product descriptions. Place the image frames and text frames and name them. Then position them carefully as shown in the transform panels. There's all of the frames layers you'll end up with. And there's text 1 and text 2, product 1 through to product 9, and their related text file, product 9 text. Now, that's there. Product 9 is there. Product 9 description is there in this one. Very tricky. That's why you've got to get those exactly right. Pause the video. Spend ages typing those in. Product B, exactly the same. You should be getting good at this by now. I don't think there are any hidden features amongst there. Watch out for that frame text there. Now what would you think about this, looking at that? We've got Product 1. Now in the Masters, you had Text 1 and Text 2 and Frame Text. What do you suppose they'll be? Do you suppose they'll be exactly the same as in Masters, in the Welcome Masters, or different here? Pause the video. Spend as long as you need getting all of those right. Product C, no surprises there. Different layout, of course. There's the layout. There's the number of layers you've got. And there's all the frames and their positions. Product D. All the layout. All the frames. And all the positions. Pause the video. Type them in. Product E the layout, all the frames, all the products. Pause there, set them all up. You should be getting good at this by now because here comes product F. They're all over this side this time and the text on that side. There we go, all the different products and all the different frames. And you'll see here that the descriptions are underneath the product now. Now then, we're slowly getting there. Setting up the display pages. Now from the panel, add the second page. The system will have already added the first page. When you, when you create a new document, it always adds page 1 and 2 or page 1, depending on how you set up. They'll be named pages 1 and 2, page, and you add a page and call it pages 3 and 4, or it will be called that. Next, you will add two small text placeholders. Note they have the same names. Now, these aren't on the master pages. They're in the display pages. 
And you can see them there. Two required labels appear in the pages, not in the master pages. There's the logo, which is, for example, that one. And a clear frame puts a thin grey rectangle on the page. That is, if you make it a thin grey rectangle. Don't worry about this here. That's not one you put in. That's the welcome A page that's related to this single page. There we go. Page 1 and 2 showing logo type and frame. Set that up exactly where you want it. That's in that pages 1 and 2. And it's there. And the next one is the frame rectangle, which is there. And that's its position down there. That's the frame rectangle there. Pages 3 and 4. We're on there now, showing the logo type. That's the logo type. Note its position on pages 3 and 4. It's down there this time. Not up here on page 1 and 2. It's down here. Now you can see this is populated because I've already set up the welcome pages and put their images in here. And they're showing up. This is the page of your brochure being displayed. So don't be confused. You don't put them in here. You put them in your masters. The image is used on the outside cover. There are three images in this case. So you've got your master pages set up and you've got your uh, two, one, two, three and four pages set up. Now images used, there are three images in this case. Picture one, picture two and picture three. That's the outside cover or the welcome master pages. So have them pre-selected. Know where to find them. Don't sit back now and think, oh, it's going to take me hours to find the right pictures. Do your groundwork first. Get the preparation done first. And the images for the inside cover, well, you've got nine products, one through nine, and the text or descriptive text that goes with them. Now, you'll see that this descriptive text is very short, so you can't ramble on. You've only got a minimum space to put that in. Half a dozen words. The name of the product, perhaps. The master page is used in this exercise. The welcome, back cover and front cover. Here called welcome A to F and products A to F. Welcome on the outside, products on the inside. Welcome on the outside products on the inside. So welcome A is related to products A. Welcome B related to products B. And so on down the list. Pause that. Study it carefully. Save your work. Now if you've already created a template, overwrite it. Don't have three or four templates. Export to template will save it as a template. Put it somewhere, put it in your templates folder. And also save the document and save it to your Affinity Publisher native folder. And if you like, save it anywhere else you like so you've got more than one copy of it. Disaster after all that work if you lose it mid-save or you spill your coffee on your keyboard, zap your computer, there's your work gone. Save your work. Can't stress it enough. Now let's continue. Adding text in columns in the master pages. Now you remember that text frame? That's text two. It's frame text. And I've set that up to three columns. There are about 230 words in there. Don't overflow the amount of text. If you have too much text, you'll see that there changes red. That one and that one will turn red. It means you've got too much text in there. And that can do horrible things to the rest of your document if you care to ignore it. Text 1 position is for your branding or logo. So text 1 and 2 always contain the same text. 
as they are master page layers. The column text detail, three columns, about 230 words if you're using Georgia regular six point, which is what I use. Georgia bold, 13 point, gave me that. Now the product text detail, currently there are nine text labels for descriptions. And although that is way out of scale there, that doesn't matter, I'm showing you where they were. And you can type them in there, that's product uh, welcome page A, just type your descriptions in there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And they'll be related no matter how your page is a format, whichever master page is in control. Placing images and text. Well, apply welcome A and products A. Make sure you, you've selected master welcome A and master products A and place the images you will use in the placeholders. Then place the text in the text placeholders. You can see them there. They're in the masters. All six welcome spreads. Now these are the welcome pages. Front and back. Front and back. Front and back. Front and back. Remember that black and white adjustment you applied? That's what it does to the three images there. It turns them black and white. So welcome one, two, three. Oh, where are we? Spread A, one, two, three, four, five, and six. They're the front pages, the possible front pages. Master A, Master B, Master C, Master D, Master E, and Master F. These will be related to your six product pages. Product A, Product B, Product C, Product D, Product E, and Product F. And you can have uh, Welcome A related to Product A. And if you really want to do it, you can have Welcome A related to Product B. Same products, just different layout. You can try these on your client. Your client may like that one with a different front cover. So you might end up with Welcome F related to Product C. You don't know. But this gives you the opportunity to try them. And you can really confuse your client with this one. Because in the end, you give them so many options. In the end, they throw it to you and say, pick the best one and print it out. 100% your brochure is complete. And I can tell you now, you are the master of master pages because you know exactly now how to set them up, how to align your frames and what to put in them and how to change them across boundaries by simply applying the master. To apply the masters, for example, select page one and two, right click and select apply master. Select the welcome master you want from the drop down list and then click to apply it. You do the same with the second lot, pages three and four. Right click and select, apply master. Select the product master you want from the drop down list and click to apply it. Export and print. And ta-da, there's your finished brochure. Now, after all that, and I know that's taken you hours and hours and hours because it took me hours and hours and hours and it's time to head for the shop Go down to the Japanese or Chinese restaurant and have yourself a nice healthy feed and a nice glass of crisp white wine. Sit back and relax because you've just become a Jedi master of Master Pages in Affinity Publisher. Thank you for watching.